Hi, my name is Dor from the Kalimba channel and today I want to teach you everything about how to tune a Kalimba uh, with good tips that you didn't hear by other people. So watch this video till the end. Thanks. Why do you need to tune your Kalimba? When your Kalimba is in tune, you have the perfect sound on your instrument. Your instrument deserves to be in tune. Uh, it's better to have a sheep kalimba that's in tune than a really good uh, kalimba that's out of tune. Everybody hears it immediately that it doesn't sound like it used to be or our ear is trained on a good tuning. It's really important when you play with another instrument or uh, with somebody else uh, to have the a good tune. We're gonna teach today uh, how to tune with, with the tuner but uh, when you play with somebody else, be aware that it can have another tuning so then you need to use your ears to hear how, how the other instrument is sounding and that it blends together. So when do you need to tune? Your instrument have always to be in tune when you're gonna play. So uh, every time when you're gonna play a song, especially when you have a recording or a concert, be in tune because everybody will hear it. Some instruments need to be more tuned than others. Like this kalimba, uh, I, I didn't have to tune it Did, since I got it. Uh, it's a Bolf kalimba. People who follow me, they know it. I, I love the brand. And uh, if you have, want to have a kalimba like this, uh, follow the link uh, below. Where do you have to tune? Uh, it's really important that there's no sound around when you want to tune with, with your phone. Uh, the phone pick every sound that it hears. Be aware that everything is silent when you tune. Also, when there's somebody speaking, the tuner will uh, find that uh, as a tone. So it has to be silent. If you have a place where it's never silent, uh, use a tuner like this uh, that you can put on the instrument and that have a piezo uh, element. So it's, uh, it takes more the vibrations of the instrument and, and it's uh, put the, the information there. So that can be a, a good solution. So what do you need to tune a kalimba? Uh, first, you need your kalimba. You need a lot of patience <laughs> because it, it costs some time, uh, especially when it's really out of tune. You need a hammer and you need a tuner. It can also be your uh, phone. There are a lot of uh, tuner apps. It doesn't really matter which one you use. So every tuner has its own design. And uh, But when your instrument is in tune, it will say it's in tune. Okay, how does this tuner work? Are you going to try to bring it to 440? Uh, that's the, uh, the number uh, that, that says uh, in which tuning you are. And uh, the A is 440 hertz. And... Uh, yeah, that's a standard tuning that we use in Western music. Uh, so the most popular songs, you, you will use uh, that one. So be aware that that's right set. It has two points in the middle. Uh, you want to be sure that uh, that when your uh, time is in tune, uh, it will be fit there. It doesn't have, be, have to be perfect, but, but you, you can have uh, one or two uh, stripes. Uh, and and uh, then when it sounds okay, then it's okay. You will have a big letter, A, B, C, D, E, G, uh, whatever. Uh, that's which note you're, uh, you're sounding. So when you have to play a C, then there have to be a C. No sharp or no, uh, no flat. It has to be just the, the letter higher than the A. So be aware that there are no signs uh, when you think you, you need the right note. Okay, so now the important thing, how to tune that kalimba. Um, first, you play all the notes. I mean, it sounds okay. Uh, for, for just practicing, it's okay. For recording, uh, you're just gonna check it out with your tuner. Uh, lay it below the, below the instrument. Uh, the sound is coming from here, so that's the best place where the tuner can hear your instrument. You're gonna play the note and, and the tuner will um, will pick it up. When it's okay, it's fine. Just uh, keep it uh, keep it, and you go to the next one. It's not okay. It can be too low or too high. 
when you have a C, it has to be uh, a C. When it's another letter, you have to tune it up. Then you come from here and you hit it with this side of the hammer. And you hit it softly and make the time smaller because it's too low. When you uh, when the note is too high, you want to have the times bigger, so you hit it from here. Just right when it's perfect. I said I told you before it, it doesn't have to be at the zero, but one or two can also be okay. The, the, sometimes the tuner don't know uh, what the tone is and it's a little uh, vibrating. Uh, then it can help to play the note and mute it. And then the tuner will say, okay, I, I used it there. It also can help to lay it down on a table and tune it there. Then the table is also uh, a surface, uh, what also vibrates with, with, uh, with the kalimba. That can help you. Be aware that uh, when you're going to hit the lower keys, they need more ticking than the, the, the higher keys. The higher keys, they, they are really uh, sensitive. So be, uh, be aware that the higher keys just need really soft and uh, it's going to uh, flip uh, a lot faster. Okay, now we are busy with the ticking. Maybe you also want to subscribe uh, and, and hit the, the, the button subscribe and uh, hit the ring, not notation bell uh, beside me because then uh, you know when the next video is coming about transposing in other keys. And uh, you can also follow the daily routines. They are really good practicing uh, for getting your thumbs uh, warmed up and uh, I got lots of uh, easy kalimbas, beginner songs, and uh, there will a lot of coming uh, on, on this channel about good information about playing kalimba. So don't miss anything and uh, subscribe if you want. If there are any questions, send them uh, here in the comments. Uh, I will answer everything. I hope to see you again and uh, have a nice day.